I was very pleased with today's event. Um, we were very busy and I spent uh, a lot of time talking to some very well prepared students. So it was a good event all round. Uh, most of the inquiries today were focused on uh, postgraduate business, although I did have inquiries for some sciences and some engineering programmes as well, along with MBA inquiries, of course, they're always very popular. All of the students seemed very well prepared, the level of English was generally good, and they seemed to have done a lot of research about the programmes, which was nice to know that they had uh, looked at the programmes that we offer and knew a little bit about the university as well, so it was really good. Um, actually, with UEA, I've not been to Korea many times before. Um, to be honest, in the past we haven't had many students coming from Korea, um, but I'm seeing that there's more interest now, which I'm very happy about. Um, and I think that Korea um, has a lot to offer in terms of its students, and I'm really glad that there's more interest in my university, UEA. Well, um, I've met a lot of Korean students today, and um, Korean education has a great reputation around the world now. Um, and the students I've met today I've been very impressed with. They have such a lot of questions. They're already well researched. They've already done their own investigations, which is really impressive. Um, and I really hope we can get more of those kind of students. They're very passionate about their subject and really have a focus about what they want to do. The quality of students was really good. All the students that came to the stand were qualified for the courses that they wanted to do. Um, they were well informed, they'd researched the courses that they were interested in, so we were really pleased with the quality. Some examples of more popular courses today would be courses in the area of linguistics, um, applied linguistics and TESOL. Also a lot of interest in arts, arts humanities, museum studies is another area that we've seen a lot of um, inquiries for in Korea. And also some in, in engineering, business is always popular and marine sciences is another area um, that we see a lot of inquiries for here. All the students, as I said, were very focused, they know what they want to do and also because of the diversity of the areas that they want to study, um, we, you know, we really like to meet them and we want to encourage them to come and study in the UK with us. Um, so yeah, we've got a very high opinion of Korean students and we'd like more to come to Newcastle um, and be able to mix with our home students as well. Yeah, I definitely would. We had a busy day, we had consistently good students for at least five hours, so I was really pleased. Uh, the thing I like most about the fair is the quality of the students. Um, we are not a university that just wants thousands and thousands of people coming to see us, but a varying quality. We want the best quality students, uh, and that's what this fair delivered today. Very good education, very good experience, and very well prepared. I would definitely recommend this fair to other universities, as long as they rank lower than we do. Uh, but it's a very good fair. Uh, and I would definitely recommend for universities if they're paying a second visit to Seoul to come to this fair. Um, Brunel University is a good choice for Korean students. Um, location wise we are the closest university um, to Heathrow Airport so when you arrive at, um, in the UK it's very easy to get to our campus. We are a campus based university so you can live and study on campus. We have uh, many of the courses that students in Korea are interested in. In particular we have um, a very highly ranked school of um, engineering design um, most of our Korean students are very keen on doing design courses, so we offer um, a course in design and strategy and branding and innovation, so it's a very popular choice for um, our Korean students. Um, Korean students, um, as I said, majority of our students from Korea do design courses and um, the, leader, the course leader for design, Ray Holland, has some very positive feedback um, on Korean students that their work ethic is very good, their study ethic, um, so they're very popular with our academic staff um, because they study so hard and they, they do very, very well in their degree. Okay, yeah, I'd be happy to, yeah. Well, EBSI is in Bournemouth, which is uh, an exquisite tourist resort on the south coast of England, so it's got a fantastic climate for study and it's also a very popular study location for students from all over the world literally. However, what makes BBSI special is that we literally uh, form the bridge between studying English and studying uh, at university. So many students come to us for English language studies but many also come for something like uh, diploma courses or foundation courses or pre-masters courses and we have a, a wide range of 
subjects where people can study these courses such as, well, business courses mainly, management, marketing, finance, law, hospitality, and we also have some courses in uh, science, technology and so on. It's an interesting time for us. Uh, there's a lot of change happening, uh, but we all have to, I think, adapt to these changes and we have to uh, try to work with uh, our government and with uh, the people who can help us. And uh, I must say I'm, uh, I'm grateful to the support that the British Council has given to this fair. Um, and I actually think that probably, for example, at the next fair it would be very useful in, in the light of the very recent changes issued by the government for the British Council perhaps uh, to have some representation here throughout the fair where they could give information particularly about the IELTS examination because that has now become an obligatory entry test for uh, general student visas. I think uh, it would also be wonderful if we could have somebody here from the British Embassy because this is after all a uniquely uh, United Kingdom um, focused event. So I think uh, having both uh, the British Embassy and the British Council here will be fantastic for next year, particularly for the uh, information about the IELTS examination. I think what sets Korean students apart is that they are very focused students. They really have, they're very serious, they study very hard and I think what they are looking for is quality courses. They are, they're not interested in simply saving money and going to uh, a cheaper course or a, an easier course. They are prepared to do it the hard way because they can look to the long term and to achieving uh, better results which will help their career. Actually, I have to say, I haven't been to an event like this before. It's my first time to see an event organized like this. And I think this is absolutely fantastic. I'll tell you why. I think that the way that this has been organized as a kind of uh, a boutique type fair is outstanding because all the potential students who come in through the door clearly have some kind of study intention or even a, a, a vague study plan in mind and so when they sit down and talk to you they already have some ideas and some questions and this sets this fair apart from other fairs because in other fairs uh, you get um, a, let's say perhaps more than 50 percent of the people are only what you'd call browsing they're not necessarily serious students or they might be thinking about coming perhaps in one year or two years or three years possibly if they have enough money or something like that but in this fair it's very focused but it's also very comfortable so students can um, sit down and in a relaxed way they can discuss in great detail all about not just the courses but about life in the UK about you know the, the cost of living about how to live in, say, host families or in residences, um, how, how to make friends, how to spend your spare time, all these sort of things, which are actually really important considerations for students. And I, I think that this is the kind of event that I will want to support in future. Well, as you, you certainly know, Abbey College is one of the most successful sixth form colleges in the whole of the UK. We have excellent results every year. We send our students to some of the top universities in the UK. I think that's a quick summary of actually what we, what we do. Extremely successful, very prestigious, and uh, we hope it will continue in the future. Right, I'm very impressed. I have to say this event was very focused, and I think that's a key thing that you need to achieve when you're holding this, this kind of fair. So um, I think it was very worthwhile. Um, it's my first time to attend uh, today's agents uh, fair and I think the overall quality was very good. Um, Anglia Ruskin University is one of the largest uh, universities in the UK in terms of uh, population. We have over 31,000 students uh, over, uh, uh, around the world. Um, we have two main campuses, one in the famous uh, Cambridge City and the other one in Chelmsford, both very close to London. 
uh, and our Cambridge School of Art um, was established in 1858, which is one of the oldest art school in the UK. And I think Korean students love to study art and design. So I think uh, it would be a wonderful opportunity for Korean students to come to Cambridge and experience a different type of study. Uh, yes, I would uh, recommend the fair to uh, our UK colleagues because I think um, the, the, uh, the fair overall is very focused. Um, we don't have many, many inquiries, but we have very, very good inquiries and the student quality are much better than some of the other fairs that I have attended. Um, the students we see in Korea are always excellent. Um, our design school at Northumbria University is always very happy um, with Korean students, especially in industrial design and fashion. Um, they are amongst the leading students in their class every year. And uh, from, the, uh, from the look of the students and talking to them today, I think that they will be more, uh, more similar um, to previous years. Um, the most inquiries that we had are the courses for which we have the best reputation in Korea. Um, so mainly industrial design um, and also fashion. But I also had some inquiries for PhD study, uh, for doctorate study, um, and for business and sports management as well. The students were very good, they were very interesting to speak to, um, they had done a lot of research and the students whose work I saw was very strong. They were slightly nervous, but they needn't be. Um, they had very good portfolios and for an art school that's important for us to see. Um, they also had um, very interesting questions to ask us um, and I think that their interest in art and design, particularly in Korea, meant that they were very well focused on what they were asking, what they were looking for from colleges and universities. As an Associate Dean from a School of Art and Design, I've been coming to Korea for a number of years. Um, I think Korean students um, bring a very particular flavour to the creative process. They obviously sort of rely on their creative cultural history, but also they bring a really added interesting dimension across a whole range of subjects from fashion, uh, visual communication, automotive design. So they bring a very definite Asian dimension to the design process. Uh, they also are very good communicators with other students. They like to be involved with the uh, uh, decision-making process within group work. They like to involve themselves very much in the creative process. So from a creative perspective, uh, the students are highly individual, they're very innovative and they're very creative.